Good day everyone and welcome to the first episode of my Minecraft survival series. So we are playing currently on 1.20 as you can see by those trees. And before we start I just want to clarify some things about this series. So this is just going to be a project to get me back into playing Minecraft and stuff. And it's not going to change any schedules of other videos. So I need to get that mentioned. And now we have a villager and we have a nice biome there. And I want to check that out and I want to check that out. And we have nice mountains in here. So this is looking great. Let's get some wood and maybe visit that village or those trees. Now I actually know this seed because I once played on it and I thought this was quite a nice seed. So I'm going to use it for this series. And my plan for this is to build as a starter base kind of cabin up there in the mountains. And then maybe like... Maybe like kind of a mountain town they have in, let's say, northern Italy or somewhere in the Alps. That's, that seems like a good idea. And we could even move our villagers in there. Oh, we even have spikes. That's quite a rare biome. This is my first time playing on 1.20. And what the hell is this? This is so cool. I, I love the particles. The wood is kind of... seems very interesting. These trees almost feel like if they were built by a player with how this thing looks. It's really interesting. But I believe I saw a sheep. Yes. And a pig. Also, I looted that thing. It wasn't anything really special. And we actually have some saplings, that's great. Now let's check out the village. Because there are usually some animals and stuff in villages. And I want food. Sheep. So after murdering everything that could give me food, we have food. That means that we can establish some kind of a base camp here. And we will get some resources and then we could move up to the mountains, build a base there and start everything. So let's get more wood and make some things. I see a cat. Well, let's get fish. So I went fishing and during that my axe broke so we only have five fish. Let's hope that that's enough. Okay, the cat is there. Yes, we got it. So now we have a cat. We got a cat before getting stone things. That's interesting. Let's bring the cat to the bed and get some more resources. I'll meet you later. So we have more than a stack of iron. And I actually never touched the cave, even though there is quite a big one down there. Because I went into the mountains and apparently there's a lot of iron in the mountains. The higher you go, the more iron you get. So that's great. And so we have iron. I'm going to make some things, some gear. And then we could maybe go mining for diamonds. And then we could start the base there. Oh, oh, that's a problem. I don't like this. But I've been mining and I already have a lot of iron. Plus I have a half a stack back at base. So that's good. Let's try and mine some more. Oh yes. We found a shiny blue thing. So this is the first one. I also found a zombie spawner, so... I 
don't know if that could be of any use. I guess an XP farm, but we will build that in the end eventually for like Enderman. That's great, we now have enough for pickaxe. And let's try to get some more, as this is quite a big cave here. And also, we're really stacked up on resources now. Yeah, this is looking good, uh, this is not looking good, and that's not looking good either. Well, I'll meet you later. Now look at this, that's great. Let's get some, oh, you can't, right, you need silk types to get those. Alright, well that's a problem, but we could, if we had silk touch, we could get some spyglasses, but if we had silk touch, we could, oh, Oh, you need them to be fully grown. Well, that's good. Let's make a spyglass after we get copper. Oh, it's great to see the sun again. So, I'm back up. We got five diamonds and a whole lot of iron. And some lapis and some redstone. And, yeah, that's great. I will probably have to mine normally. But, yeah. We got that, and that's great. So let's go smelt all of that, and I'll go mining. I've been always notoriously unlucky with mining diamonds. It's come to the point that I don't think I've ever gotten a full diamond armor just by mining. I've always done it with villagers. And I wanted to try it again and try do something different. Also because I am going to be needing a lot of stone and deep slate for my build that I'm planning. And so I tried to mine and for some reason that unluckiness just went straight out of the window. And in two days, look how many diamonds I got. I got 43 diamonds that's like that's a lot and that's great but also when i was just coming out of the mines finally with those diamonds there was a creeper and he went down through here and i tried to kill him with my sword and i hit him wrong and so he didn't die but there was a skeleton here also, and he tried to shoot me, and he shot the creeper, and look what we got. We got the music disc. And it's the cat one, which is the best after, like, the new 1.18 one. The other side one. So I'm incredibly happy, and let's make some things. Also, I didn't mine only for, like, 24. I meant for all of these because we need 38 to have a full diamond thing without the hole and also an enchanter. So we got that, let's make some good things. And also I made two pickaxes because that's one thing I've learned over the years and that's you will need two pickaxes not only because you are going to use one up and you don't want to break it so having two of them ready is good but also because one of them is going to be self touch and the other one is going to be fortune so that's that and we also got ourselves this we have a jukebox and we also have six more diamonds so we can use that later for the enchanter and other things so i'm happy with how this has gone and now we can move on to building the house in the mountains 
so we will have to get all this and move it over there so I brought everything over here so now we are properly set up we have all our stuff here and we are going to be building our starter base here I'm not really a starter base but something will be built here something big will be built here so that's good and I actually already even built the build in my creative testing world and we will need a ton of copper and we will probably need to terraform some of these mountains so we will need a silk touch pickaxe so let's try to get like cows and leather and things like that i will also have to get some sweet berries and we're back with a load of wheat and some cows and this clip has been recorded a long time after the last one because we are also back with a bunch of resources we have copper we have cobble we have tough we have things like that and i will need those things because i am going to be building the starter base now and this clip was also recorded a long time after the last one because i had to wait for replay mod for 1.20 which is the tool i use for time lapses to actually get released but it's finally out and we can build a big base so first i'm going to clear all this because i have already set up things like these which show me where what should be so let's do a small time lapse of me taking the tree down and taking the farm down and doing something with the cows Now this is all done, one thing I failed to mention in the last clip is that I got myself some enchants and also I got myself some bees. So this will come in handy when we wax our roof. Now onto the big time lapse.
and we're back i hope you enjoyed the time lapse as this is the first time lapse of the series and unfortunately i can't use zoom because replay mode the mod i use for time lapses doesn't seem to work with optifine and i haven't found a good alternative so for like two episodes we'll have to be without zoom but we have a spyglass now let's address the elephant in the room, and that's we have a base. We have a starter base, or rather big of a starter base. I'm quite happy with how this went. The roof isn't really done currently, because I don't have enough wax to actually wax all of that. So it's not textured, but apart from that, most of the exterior is finished. We'll have to do that in the next episode, as I'm guessing we are running out of time rather quickly and yeah i think we've done everything we needed to do today and next episode we'll try to move in actually and we will try to maybe even explore the nether and actually lay out what we're going to do with this valley and with this whole thing so i hope you enjoyed this I hope you actually enjoy this quite non-traditional departure from my normal content and there's a copper block up there and yeah i hope this series goes well and see ya it is rather difficult traversing through this terrain oh well that was quite lucky that we actually survived that see ya